Hey, how's your day? Yesterday being Valentine's Day, I thought I'd do a little creative card for my wife and I to post online. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to put text and objects behind your subject just for a little more fun. Plus, there'll be a bonus tip that a lot of people overlook. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Well, we've got a picture of our feet loving it up here. First thing I'd like to do, and the big secret to behind all this, is grabbing our subject and putting it on a different layer. So let's go up top to select subject, or any way you guys like to select your subject. Now, it doesn't quite do the job, so let's go over here, quick selection tool, and just kind of fix it up a bit so it's exactly what we want. Very cool. Now let's hit Control J to put it on its own layer. Plus, I want to put a layer mask on it. Now, let's grab the layer below and we'll grab our text tool and we'll type Happy, Happy Valentine's Day. Let's go over here. And we'll change our color to a nice pink here. Now here are V keys so we can move the text around. And already it's behind our feet because our other layer of our subject is already there. Very cool, but it's not quite large enough. So let's grab the text layer and make it just a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, I want it approximately here. But as you can see, the word Valentine's is blocked out. So what we can do, we'll go to our layers and we'll drag and make a copy of this layer and drag it above our feet. Now, let's choose that layer and the other text layer, right click, and we'll link them. I'll show you why in a second. So now let's double click on the very first one and let's throw a stroke in there. Let's make it four pixels and plus let's make it the color of the text. Now let's go back to the top. Our blending options. Hold your Alt key down and let's go to the current layer white and bring it down. Now, if you want to make it a little more transparent and or completely visible, just move it right down with it. Very cool. Now, let's make the stroke maybe five pixels so we can see it better. Now, the reason we link the two layers together is because you can move it anywhere you want and it'll always be behind. Very cool. Now we can see Happy Valentine's Day. Let's move it just about here. So, I like it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to do a custom shape. So let's go to our shapes, our legacy shapes, to our legacy default shapes, and let's choose a heart. Now, well, let's draw it in there. About so big. And we're going to fill it with the same color we've already been using. Let's hit the V key so we can move it. Let's turn the stroke right off. Now, it looks like it's in front of everything here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it below. So now it's behind, but now it's really killing our text here. So what we'll do in this trick, in your properties, go to the shape properties and the feather. Let's just feather it out until it's a nice glow. Maybe bring back the density a bit. Oh, that's too much. 
So now it's a nice glow. Feather it up a bit more so you can see. It's a heart. Now, it's still kind of blocking the text here. So what we'll do is we'll go to the color. And we'll just make it lighter. Just a little bit lighter. And now we have our heart and our text. And again, if you want, you can hit your V key and kind of move it around. Maybe go back to the shape properties and back off the feather so it looks more like a heart. Now you can also move it around in your layer panel. Let's move it down one more to bring out your Valentine's Day text. Now that looks cool. You've got your heart and you've got your Valentine's Day text exactly where you want it. Or move it around, move the heart around, and you've got yourself a cute little card for Valentine's Day. Putting text and objects behind your subject. Very cool. Well, there we go. We've leveled up our Photoshop skills. Plus, we've had a lot of fun here. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below. Like and subscribe. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.